You know, my brothers, there are two states. There are only two conditions. You are either worshipping Allah, or you're worshipping your nafs. One of the two. It's never in between. Don't ever think that you are in between. Iman is two conditions. There is no middle ground. Iman is two conditions. Either up or down. You're either worshipping Allah, making your namaz, reading your Qur'an, going to Hajj, going to Umrah, paying your charity, learning your deen, giving da'wah, up, 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 up. Or your... Brother, I'm busy man, you know, I'm, I'm... Insha'Allah. And this is the trick. This is the trick of shaitan. I'll show you another trick. Uh, brother, Insha'Allah, you come to a brother, you tell him, brother, why don't you come to the masjid, you know? Come to the masjid, learn your deen, you know, stop making your namaz in the masjid, stop making your salah in the masjid, uh, learn to read Quran. Brother, I love Allah, and I love Rasulullah I love them. But brother, right now I have some school, inshallah. As soon as I finish school, as soon as I finish my school, I will be there, inshallah. Inshallah, I will join you as soon as I finish school. Then you wait for the brother to finish school, then what happens? Brother, uh, you know, Allah says, do not forget your portion of dunya. Brother, look, uh, I have some university, inshallah. As soon as I finish my uni, as soon as I get my degree, inshallah, I am, I'm with you. I'm with you, inshallah, as soon as I finish my uni. My brother, this is the same song every one of us sings. You know how there's the Bollywood movies? We also have our own Bollywood movie with the background dancers and everything is happening. Yeah? As soon as I finish school, as soon as I finish uni, then what happens when I finish uni? Brother, I need a job, man. <laughs> you want me to go to the masjid hungry? What's wrong with you, man? As soon as I, as soon as I get a job, inshallah. Inshallah, as soon as I get a job, brother, where? I'm with you, man. I'm with you in the masjid, brother. I love Allah and His Prophet. My brothers, who are we kidding? So the brother gets a job. Then you come knocking on his door. Salam alaikum, salam, brother. How are you? Well, I'm good. Uh, when are you coming, brother? Brother. Brother, big fit man now. I have to get. <laughs> you all know the song, huh? Everyone knows the song? Brother, I have to get married, man. Brother, you know? I can't sleep at night, man. Okay, let's get married. Uh, brother, I know a good girl. First, my family has to approve of her. And her family has to approve of me. And if I'm not from a good family, she won't accept it. And if she's not from an equal family of mine, my family also will not. And uh, you see, brother, because my, because my brother, when he got married, he has lots of money. They had a big wedding. So now I also have to have a, a big wedding. And the tricks of shaitan, and the tricks of shaitan, and the tricks of shaitan, and the vicious and the poison of shaitan, and, the, and with all due respect, with all due respect, the mothers and the fathers who have no deed in their life, who have no deed in their life, instead of protecting their children and making marriage easy, Instead of protecting their children and following the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and making nikah easy for the people, haram has become so easy now. Haram has become so easy and to perform halal has become mission impossible. 
Brothers are 30 and 32 and they're still single. I ask you, if someone is 32 years old and he's not married, what do you think he's doing at night? Who are we kidding? Who are we playing games with? The father will rather have his daughter, she's 35 and 40, single, because the brother that knocked on the door, he was not from the same social gathering or the same social circle. Social circle. These are the games we play now. We've made halal impossible and haram easy. So now the brother has to work until he's 30 years old, man. Fine. Brother, don't cry. Do not complain. Fathers, do not complain when your father, when your son loses control and you cannot control him anymore. This was the seed that you planted. Today we think we're protecting. Today our sisters are spending half the night in their rooms on Facebook. I'm not saying they're evil. I'm not saying they're evil. But you open the door to this shaitan. You open the door to internet. And eventually you're going to look at something you should not be looking at. Eventually you're texting someone you have no right to be texting. Then we're waiting. He got married. Allah, alhamdulillah, nikah. MashaAllah. Beautiful nikah. Very nice. Brother, you know, I wanted a separate wedding. But her father would not exist. <laughs> Allah knows what's in my heart. <laughs> Allahi man, the games we play with Allah. Because of social expectations and my family and her family, we begin the nikah on haram. And we expect it to finish on my son is giving me trouble. Yeah, no wonder, brother. Instead of making nikah simple, humble, achievable, brothers, make it easy. Sometimes a brother, he says to me, but brother, I have money. Brother, I know you have money. But if you set the example, everyone else will follow you. So yes, you have money, but humble yourself for the sake of Allah, so that others in the community, you make it, you have rahmah on them. Because you become the yardstick. Don't you understand, my brothers? Please wake up. Please wake up. Please, please wake up. Sometimes, brother, it's halal. Yeah, but brother, I understand it's halal. But don't you understand that you're crippling a society? When the, you see, the poor follow the footsteps of who? Of the rich. So yes, you have a beautiful big nikah, you're okay, you and your family can pay for it. But you have now set the standard for the rest of the community. People are struggling to pay rent. Mothers, please understand this. Fathers, please wake up. Have rahmah on your ummah. Have rahmah on your children. Oh, but brother, you know, don't tell me brother. Allah is a razzaq. Don't ever think if I obey Allah, Allah will punish me. What's happening? So he gets married. Very nice nikah. Very big haram. Music and dances and whatever have you. Okay. Brother, uh, inshallah, you ready for the masjid? <coughs> Brother, uh, it's a little bit sensitive now. We're still honeymooning. <laughs> Where? Honeymooning. Brother, I promise you. Look at the trick. Of, wallahi, my brothers, this is the song we're all singing. Brother, inshallah, as soon as I... Just this little period, as soon as we get over it, yeah. she still feels uncomfortable in the new house. You know? 
She was in her parents, you know, so she's uncomfortable now. Inshallah, just give me some time and then I am with you. I'm with you. Okay. How long do you need, brother? Six months a year? Okay, six months a year. Come back after a year. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi Alhamdulillah, brother. Sure, what's happening? Oh, you did not hear the good news? No? <laughs> what's the good news? She's pregnant! Allahu Akbar! She's pregnant! Yeah. Brother, she's going through some changes in her body now. Lots of uh, morning sickness, vomiting. I need to be there for her. And this is the cycle, my brother. Until you're, you're 60, 70 years old. You're an old man now. And your children are dragging you to the masjid. My brothers, what is the purpose of my life? What is the purpose? To play these games? Maybe you have a different song. Some brothers are thinking, what's this man on about? Maybe you have a different song. Uh, brother, now we are in negotiation with this big company, inshallah. And I'm just, I'm just waiting for the contract. As soon as we sign this contract, brother, Akbar, big fatah, inshallah. Big fatah. I will make so much money, inshallah, I will build masajid. I won't just come to the masjid, I will build you one. <laughs> okay. The contract, okay, no worries. Uh, we have a meeting. Today we have a meeting, inshallah, okay. We go to the meeting and there is a, a female. Oh. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh. Brother, I only shook her hand for the sake of Allah, brother. Brother, what impression am I going to give non-Muslims? I did not want to embarrass her, brother. Look how noble. Look how God-fearing he is now. Brother, you put your hand in the hand of a foreign woman. And you are foolish enough to think, that that pleases Allah? Where are we, man? Rasulullah, he says in the hadith, give me your ease, huh? He says, my brother, it is better for you. It is better. Better for you. To have a nail. You know a nail? Not these ones. He says, an iron nail. To be driven in the back of your skull and through your brain, this is better for you than to touch a foreign woman. And you think there's going to be barakah in this money? You sat down and made contract with women as you touched their hands? What is happening? Brother, Inshallah, I will make tawbah. Allah is ghafur rahim. Brother, why are you so strict? What's wrong with you people with beads, man? Have rahmah. Allahu Akbar. Have rahmah. Make deen easy for people, brother. Why are you making it so complicated? Because this is my father's deen. I ask you, really, is this my father's deen? Do I have the rule book, Yani? I can pick and change and choose and subtract and add and amendments? Amendments now? Do you think I should make amendments to the Quran because you have a business contract? What game are we playing? So we signed the contract, alhamdulillah. Big news, big fatah. But uh, inshallah, it will take some time. How long do you need? Appro uh, approximately six to one year, about six months to one year. Okay, inshallah. You come after one year, brother, you don't understand what just happened. They were so happy. They want, they want another one. 
Now I will build two masjids for you wherever they are. <laughs> and look at us now. How many successful is there in this town? Many Muslim? Many? Many millionaires? Clean shaven, huh? MashaAllah. How many millions? Lots of money? Still going to work every day? MashaAllah. Some of them maybe haven't even performed Hajj. Oh no, no, he does Umrah every year. MashaAllah. We do Umrah. My brothers, can you see where I'm going with this? Or do I have to give more examples? Do you understand now what's happening? My brother, where are you? Where is your condition? Where do you fit in this Bollywood movie? You know? My sister, where are you? What is your condition? And what will our condition be? We've neglected Allah for 60, 70 years. And now when shaitan comes and gives me his full attention, I think I'm going to... Allah, my brothers, I can, I can, wallahi... Now my heart hurts me so much. Because I was also exactly like this. I was foolish enough exactly like this. And I'm not saying I'm saved either. But Alhamdulillah, I'm on a better path than I was before.